Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 5th, it's May, and it's the year 2020, and this entire false flag 9-11 in slow motion continues to move on. What you're looking at right here is a DNA composition or a molecular makeup of a compound called luciferase. Luciferase. You see that? Lucifer's A's. And it's a, it's a genetic term for a class of oxidative enzymes that produce bioluminescence and is usually distinguished from a photoprotein. The name was first used by Raphael Dubois, who invented the word luciferin and lucifer A's for the substrate and enzyme. Well, there you go. Aren't you glad you know that? And it's funny because I was going to pull up well, actually, I still will. I see it's right here, though, but I'm still going to pull it up. Check this out. Now, even though, like the birds and the bees and bugs and trees, these are going extinct. They're, 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 I think we lost 60% of them in the last year, according to scientists. But there is a, a chemical inside the firefly that makes them light up like this. I believe I did a video on this before. I'm not exactly sure why. I'm sure it's because it had the word Lucifer in it. But I'm showing you Lucifer A's. Why am I showing this to you? Why, why, why? Because you're going to be shocked. Because guess what? In Bill Gates' quantum dot micro needle vaccination delivery system, it contains, you know, the thing we've been calling the mark of the beast without this you cannot buy or sell well one of the main components in it is luciferase in order to make it work because without lucifer this won't work okay are you starting to understand what's going on now this is no joke we can't continually have coincidence after coincidence after coincidence after coincidence do you see what i'm saying Bill Gates' cryptocurrency system using body activity data, data mining through bodily movements, is 2020-06-06-06. Total, complete, 100% coincidence, right? And then the fact that his entire system for the mark of the beast, which without, you cannot buy or sell. That's just a fact. If you do not get this ID2020 shot from Bill Gates, Life will not go back to normal, and you will not be able to move forward on this earth. Therefore, it indeed is the mark of the beast. And speaking of that, these are all the people that he's working with. Do these names look familiar? Of course they do. But let's stick with this for right now. I mean, are you absolutely kidding me? With each passing day, now this is, this is from an article from Frontlines of the End Times. I'll leave a link below. With each passing day, it's becoming clearer and plainer to those of us who are Bible believers that we are living in a very unique time period. So unique, in fact, that we might just be witnessing the kingdom of the Antichrist and the mark of the beast system being assembled before our eyes. Well, you can read the rest of this on your own, but I mean, come on, man, come on. Coincidental, coincidental. I know I've shown you this a million times. I know my subscribers are familiar with this, but... For someone that might have just stumbled on this video, perhaps someone that's related to me that asked for a shout out recently. October 18th, 2019, two months almost to the day before this entire coronavirus thing materialized, Bill Gates and John Hopkins have a tabletop five hour long discussion on coronavirus and an outbreak and then it happens. Bill Gates is all over this. So here's your problem. The reaction is a worldwide lockdown. And then here's the solution. Also owned by Bill Gates. And this is Bill Gates telling everybody life can only go back to normal after we get a global fix. Everyone gets a ID 2020 virus and then life can go back to normal. Even though this entire virus everything about it is obvious it's so obvious turn off your television and look for the facts while you still can this is so obvious it's satanic i can't understand why people don't see this for exactly exactly what it is 
This is a very good article. It goes through everything here. You might want to look all this up on your own because it's showing all sorts of crazy stuff here, like implantable quantum dot microneedle vaccination delivery system. The value comes out to 666. I mean, come on. It's absolutely everywhere, and they're not even hiding it anymore. I'm going to leave links in the description below. Richie from Boston. It's absolutely insane to me that regular people cannot see this for what it is. I just, I mean, it's amazing. But here it comes. It's getting worse every day. I'm out. Um, you're familiar with a company called Real Networks, are you not? Yes. So you see him rocking back and forth. He's asked a question, and he stops. So the rocking back and forth is a distraction. It's high stress. He doesn't want to be here. He stops. Brain engages. Answer question. Um. Then he starts up again because it's high stress. So pretty much we can say from this, when he's rocking back and forth, the brain is disengaged for critical thought. And when he stops or stutters in his rocking back and forth, the brain is re-engaged for critical thought. Did uh, you ever have uh, any discussions with any representative of Real Networks? Uh, so when he says discussions, the body slows down. Ah, critical thought coming back in. When he brings up um, the company name, he stops again. The body slows down and rocking. Critical thought being processed again. Turning um, what products uh, Real Networks should or should not uh, offer or distribute. So then you see him stop completely, critical thought re-engaged. Then he starts up again. It's kind of like making your hands do two different things at once. That's what's going on with his brain and this rocking. It's distracting him from this whole deposition. And just because he rocks does not make him autistic or have ADHD. All of this says, I am in a high stress situation and I'm doing my best to distract myself from it. People have many forms of doing this, whether it be rocking themselves in a rocking chair, tapping their fingers, playing with their hair. And as you can see from his body position, from what we can gather, what we do see, he's got his arms in his lap. I would guess that they're probably between his legs. Hello brothers and sisters, this is Lisa and I'm here to share the latest word given to Allie Winters. The title is A Wake Up Call and this word was posted May 5th, 2020. In panic or in praise, in times of plenty or in times of lack, sunshine or thunderstorm, we must never lose sight of God. If ever a nation lets go of God's hand, that nation will crumble, destroyed from within. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. While in prayer, I pondered the meaning of COVID-19. I wondered what the Lord wanted us to learn from all that has been thrust upon us. Holy Spirit spoke, spirit to spirit, from his heart to mine. The virus is a wake-up call to the nations. Get your house in order. Refuse to compromise. Stand firm in faith. Darkness awaits. Do not be deceived. The virus will shine the light of truth into areas of corruption, deception, and greed, exposing the darker side of governmental officials, corporations, organizations, their agendas, their subtly hidden thirst for power. Instead of righteousness, there are rags. Instead of grace, there is greed. Instead of love, there are lies. My people perish for lack of wisdom. Speak to them of my son. Speak to them of my glory. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. 
and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. I said, Lord, this is a mess. The Lord said, No, this is not a mess, but a mission. You as a nation, a world, have an opportunity to turn away from evil and back to righteousness. You have been given time to stand in the gap, to repent for the sins of your nation, to repent of your laziness in prayer, repent of your lack of concern, your lack of commitment to goodness as your nation crumbled under the weight of sin, graft and perversity. You have an opportunity to turn your nation back to God. There is more, much more than the Lord would say to his people, to those with ears to hear truth, to those with eyes to recognize greed, hatred, and unbridled sin. Our Lord is a strong tower. The righteous will run into it, and they shall be safe. Will you be one to whom the Lord will speak? If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. As a Christian, as an American, I wonder if we will take this time God has graciously given us to return the reins of power to the righteous. Will we pray for our enemies that they would repent of their sin and turn the nation back to God? I wonder, will we vote for godly men and women who will lead the charge to make the nation one nation under God through repentance, restoration, and revival? Or will we continue to vote for pleasure seekers, promise breakers, corruption, compromise, and greed? Will we rise up or remain weak need? Will we vote for patriots? or pacifiers, men and women of character and commitment to truth, or criminals, cheats, and liars. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Will we accept the mission God has given us or remain stuck in our own shelter of sinfulness, shame-faced and proud, the mission becoming a sad reminder of what could have been, if only. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye. Tomorrow is the National Day of Prayer, fam. It's also the fourth and final supermoon of 2020. And it lands on the second Passover. And if you haven't seen our previous video, the last one we put out, we go over it. It's in Numbers chapter 9. And if you don't understand the second Passover, it's right there. God made the second Passover for the people that couldn't make it to the first Passover. And if we're still here after tomorrow, three days later, May 10th here, May 11th in Israel, is the anniversary of when the flood started, Noah's flood, the great flood. And on that day, Mother's Day, the anniversary of the flood, will start the biggest, most gigantinormous watch that we've ever seen, family, in 20 years. And it's right here the 40-day rapture warning. And remember, Noah and his family got on the ark seven days before the flood started. So he was already on the ark, family. Remember, the flood started. The anniversary is on Mother's Day. And there's going to be a lot of confirmation in this video, family. And it has to do with this cruise ship called Rapture Awareness. And that was the name of our YouTube channel. And you already know, in Bible Strong's Concordance 726, the definition is harpazo, which means rapture. So real quick, family. From Mother's Day to Father's Day is 40 days. 
May 10th to June 20th. From the anniversary of Noah's flood on Mother's Day to the day the rain stopped is the day summer starts on Father's Day this year. June 20th, Strong's Greek 620, definition to leave, leave behind. That's right, family. From Mother's Day to Father's Day is 40 days. It's the anniversary of when the flood started and stopped. Exactly. To the day. And that's the day summer starts on Father's Day. The same day that God has designed this ring of fire eclipse. That's 177 days after the ring of fire eclipse on Christmas. And we all know. We grew up this way, celebrating Christmas as Jesus Christ's birthday. So Jesus Christ, God Almighty, marked this day. And he wanted us to be very aware that he's pointing to the birth. And the rapture can happen anytime, family. It could happen tomorrow, on the second Passover, on the supermoon. Or three days later, on Mother's Day, the anniversary of when the flood started. Or 40 days later, on the anniversary of when the rain stopped. And again, that's on Father's Day, when summer starts, June 20th. In Strong's Greek 620, the definition is to leave, leave behind. And that's what we'll be doing when we get raptured. We'll be leaving everyone behind. And you already know, Jesus Christ said in Luke chapter 21, verse 25, and there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring. With perplexity, family. And at the end of the 40 days of rain, on that anniversary when summer starts on Father's Day, there's a ring of fire eclipse. And this is about to get gigantinormous, family. Not only is it at 640, UTC, universal time, that's when it peaks. And Strong's Greek 640 means perplexity. Not only that, one of our sisters left a comment and brought to our attention this. So we researched it. And sure enough, family, check this out. Jesus Christ, our Father, the Holy Spirit, marked the day summer starts on Father's Day with a ring of fire eclipse. And right after Christmas, the corona started hitting. And God showed us right away that corona means crown. So we knew for a fact that that showed us that we were in labor. And those were the labor pains. So from the Christmas ring of fire eclipse to the Father's Day when summer starts, ring of fire eclipse is 177 days, just like what Enoch said. And he said, after 177 days, all will be revealed. So back to what our sister shared with us. When you're in labor and you're giving birth, right after the crowning, at this point, the skin may feel like it's burning. Some childbirth educators call this the ring of fire because of the burning sensation felt as the mother's tissue stretch around the baby's head, family. My last video was on Martin Scorsese and Quentin Tarantino. And I get a comment on it that says, Tarantino is involved in some bad stuff. He even got away with defending notorious pedophile Roman Polanski. This guy is worse than Harvey Weinstein. But Roman Polanski does the vow of silence, and he's got a golden idol to worship. And unfortunately, I don't have anything on Harvey Weinstein. I'm looking a little bit, but... Everyone seems to love posing with the guy until now they threw him under the bus and they're accusing him of rape and sexual stuff. I don't know. I don't keep up with it necessarily because I don't like the mainstream news in Hollywood. We know that they're all part of the team, right? And then they've got the golden idol to worship. It's like some of the stuff that's biblical, it's a little too on the nose, if you know what I mean. Oh, our Lord is so good, brothers and sisters. He has opened our eyes 
for me, and I think and hope for you, that he's filled us with hope. He's filled us with great hope of the future that's coming. He's not slack concerning his promise. We're in this world. We don't exactly understand his timing or his ways. Keep on watching for the Lord, my brothers and sisters. This whole world is connected and it's sold out. The Lord is going to do something very good and cleanse it and give us a new world, a new earth, a new heaven, new glorified bodies. God bless you, everyone. Melody? Come. You want oh. the list? <laughs> I have osteoarthritis. And I have a you ready? Yeah. That's the power of God coming on you. You believe that Jesus will do this? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Melody, talk to me about your mother. Your mother, Melody. Your mother, Melody. Talk to me about your mother quickly. My mother was, um, a mean, um, she was a mean woman. Um, she was a bitter woman. And the spirit of bitterness from childhood went into your bones and caused that sickness. <laughs> bitterness rots the bones. This bitterness is not melodies, it's from the mother. So you could say it's like a generational curse. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's coming out of your melody. Everyone pray, everyone pray, everyone pray, everyone rebuke the sickness. Come on, get out. You come back for more. That's nice, Melody. Do you feel that? You feel that? What does that feel like? It feels hot. <laughs> oh, that's. I feel it nice and beautiful. She's got the heat, but anyway, praise <laughs> God. Yes, that's lovely, Melody. Praise God. You'll go home. You say to your husband, "Let's go jogging. I'm feeling good." Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Want to hop up now? Okay. Did you have soreness before? Yes. I did. Okay, move around. Um, yeah, my neck has, has, has hurt. hurt. My neck has hurt. I was told I couldn't eat all this stuff because of the arthritis. Let's forget about that. I want How to, are you? I feel good. I do. Move yourself. You want to get your kids to come up quickly? Get your kids? I do. Get your kids? You sometimes have a sluggish mind. That's the anointing against that sluggish mind. Sometimes it's just like it won't get into gear. Just relax, Mum. You're working too hard. There it goes. That's your IQ going up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that's your intelligence just going up. That's the anointing. I tell people, there it is. That's your hearing going up. But I've never said that's your intelligence going up. <laughs> Hallelujah. What do you say, Mum? I think that's awesome. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yes. Praise God. That's your brain surgery. Praise God. All right. Now let, let me, t what's your name? Uh, Sophia. Sophia, let me tell you something. The devil is a liar and he's been telling you a heap of lies. Just read the words, you'll find the truth about yourself. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. What was the problem, Melody? Um, my, my neck hurts and my shoulders hurt all the time and my hips. Uh -huh. And I was prayed for, and you got to the root of the issue. Um, it, Jesus did. It, Jesus got to the root of the issue, right? Thank you, Jesus. So, what was wrong with you? Um, my neck hurt. My shoulders hurt. How long? About five, six years. Did you say you had arthritis or something like that? 
The doctor said I had osteoarthritis in my bones. Did it hurt anywhere else? Yeah, my hips and my knees. So show us what you can do now. I can move my head, I can move my shoulders and my knees. I feel good. <laughs> Who healed you? Jesus. Jesus, amen. God bless you, Melody. Yes? For, uh, my neck and my head headaches all the time. But, but from here to here, you get pain. I have some, I, I hold my head to the side because I, I, my neck is kind of screwed up. That's the power of God going down the back of your head. You had a problem with a stiff neck. Mm -hmm. I think you're okay, Ben. Move your neck, move your neck. Move it this way. How are you going? It's much better. It's, it's much better. I could, couldn't really go both ways. My, and my pain uh, headache I've had for days, it's gone. <laughs> Okay, you're okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Where are you going? All right. Move, move your neck, your back. Look at that. Praise God. I can't believe my headache is gone. Now, what's the problem? She um, had fear to come up here. But she's been dealing with fear, anxiety. She deals with a lot of anxiety. Um, a couple years ago, she dealt with the suicidal spirit, and she was very scared. You had a Barbie doll when you were a child. ¿Quieres que te hable español? Tuviste un, I don't know. Una Barbie. Dice que tenías una Barbie cuando estabas chiquita, como una, una muñeca. ¿No te acuerdas de esa muñeca? Tal vez, no. She doesn't remember. She, she had these dolls, but there was a Barbie doll. You created an imaginary world of, una vida of dolls. De muñecas. And you wanted to become like them when you grew older. Y cuando, y ser como es, ellas cuando cre, creciste. Así comenzó tu problema. And you weren't, you weren't able to be perfect. Y no ser like your dolls. Como las you understand now? ¿Sí eso? Then you began to worry about what other people thought of you. That you weren't perfect. Que tú no eras God loves you. Pero Dios te ama. Just like you are. Así como eres, Dios te ama. El poder del Señor está fluyendo sobre ti. Ese es el poder del Señor. Está librándote de un mundo falso que tú criaste cuando eres nena. See how the Holy Spirit knows all about us. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Mira me. Tú eres libre. You are free. Okay? Give her a hug. Un abrazo. You know, God knows who you are. He knows who you are to be 
in Christ. You don't want to become something that the world made because it'll lead you into bondage. Hallelujah. Everyone throw out their Barbie dolls. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>